Good morning, traders. John Caruso coming to you here for the morning of July 26th with your global currency commentary. We'll take a look at uh, some of the news that we saw come out in the overnight. Uh, we are seeing, first of all, uh, a big rally in global equities this morning. Uh, news uh, coming out of the ECB from uh, uh, President Mario Draghi's uh, comments stating that he would do whatever it takes to support the European economy. Uh, so this morning we are seeing Spanish and Italian yields sharply lower. Uh, which is helping a rally right now in the euro uh, euro currency. We're up uh, 122 points at 122.89. We did put in a high at 123.37 this morning. So it's coming off the highs a little bit here this morning, but uh, for the most part, still very, very strong. Uh, the dollar index down 70 points, 82.92. Uh, that did hold some support down around 82.70 here in the uh, 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 here this morning, uh, but still. Uh, when I take a look at the big picture, still a lot of problems over in Europe. Um, nothing has been solved over there. There's obviously been promise of more stimulus from the United States, more stimulus from the ECB. Uh, when that will go into effect, uh, nobody really knows. Uh, we, we do have a, a big Federal Reserve meeting next week, um, and we'll have that uh, uh, coming uh, August 1st as to whether or not the Fed will do anything as far as another round of stimulus uh, for the United States. Um, taking a look at the Japanese yen, we are flat to lower, down 19 points, 127.92. Uh, I still am a big believer that the Japanese yen will continue to appreciate. Uh, I have a target right now. Well, I had a target set uh, a while back at 128.30. We've achieved that level. Any dip in the Japanese yen, uh, I do like buying at this point, all the way up to uh, potentially 130 in that market. So. Still, uh, that is a flight to safety currency. Even today, uh, with the dollar on the run 70 points, the yen only down uh, 19 points at this point in time, I still think that's a good play uh, to the long side. So stay tuned for more. Obviously, uh, anytime, feel free to give me a call, 800-669-5354. And remember, trading futures and options carries risk. It may not be suitable for all investors.